In this video tutorial, I will show you how to write Java plugins for Aware I Am. Why would anyone want to write a Java plugin? Aware I Am is a very powerful platform that offers many capabilities. So for the large majority of developers, writing a plugin will never be required. However, even the most advanced platform cannot guarantee that it satisfies all possible development requirements. There may be cases when certain functionality cannot be achieved in a where I am out of the box, or it can be achieved but with poor performance. For example, you may want to implement a very complex algorithm, connect to a third-party system that offers many specific API, or communicate with some non-standard hardware device. Writing a Java plugin allows you to extend a where I am to fulfill all of these tasks and achieve pretty much anything. Of course you need to know a bit of Java to do this. Note that Java plugins are not the only plugins possible in Aware I Am. You can also write JavaScript plugins. The difference is that Java plugins extend functionality of the Aware I Am server, and JavaScript plugins allow you to change the behavior of the Aware I Am frontend or client. In this tutorial we will talk about Java plugins the plugins that extend functionality of the server. Where on the server can you write your plugins? There are several places. The most important ones are functions and processes. I will show you how to write both. What is the difference between functions and processes? The main difference is that a function can return a value, and as such it can be used in conditions and actions in a where I am rules. You should be familiar with many default where I am functions, such as date part that returns date part of a timestamp, month that returns month number of a date, and so on. There are many, many functions that where I am provides out of the box, and you can see the full list of them when you click on the function button in the context assistant of a rule. Here they are. The important thing to remember about functions is that they all return a value of a certain type – date, number, string, and so on. Processes, on the other hand, do not return any value, but perform certain operations, usually changing values of object attributes, executing rules, sending emails, and many other things. So now let's write our first function plugin. For simplicity, we will implement a function that converts characters of the provided string to uppercase and returns the resulting string. Actually, this function already exists in the am, but we will do it again and assign a different name, just for, for the demonstration purposes. Before you can write Java plugins, you need to set up Java environment. Java is a technology freely available from Oracle. You can go to the Oracle site and download the latest version of Java for your platform. Note that there are two variations of Java package that you may need. Java Runtime Environment or GRE and Java Development Kit or JDK. JRE is required to run Java applications, whereas JDK is required if you need to develop Java applications. JDK actually includes JRE as well, but contains more tools specific for developers. We need JDK for our development. For Windows and Mac platforms, AwareIM already includes JDK as part of its Windows or Mac installation, so we can use this JDK. It is important that AwareIM plugins are developed using the same version of Java that is used to run a where I am. If you develop using the, the later version of Java, your plugins will not work. JDK supplied with the Windows version uses Java 1.7. This is not the latest Java, and you can actually download the latest one and reconfigure where I am to use this latest Java, and it will happily run under it. But whatever Java you use to run a where I am, Make sure that the version of Java that you use to develop your plugins is not later than the version of Java you use to run a where I am. 
Note that only the major version of Java is important here, such as Java 1.7 or 1.8. Here I have a, a where I am installed under Windows and it uses Java 1.7 that comes with it. So we will use this version in our tutorial. Here is the JDK from this version. It is possible to develop your plugins just using some text editor and Java compiler that comes with the JDK. However, it is much better to use an integrated development environment or IDE, such as Eclipse, because this IDE can really help you in your development. Eclipse is a free IDE and you can download it from the IBM site. We will use Eclipse in this tutorial. Eclipse itself requires Java to run, so before we can install it, we need Java to be available. When we install Eclipse, we can specify the JDK that it should use. In this case, we can point it to the JDK that comes with the where I am. Before we begin though, I need to explain at a very high level how Java works. Otherwise, you won't understand the rest of the tutorial. Your Java code consists of classes and interfaces. A class or an interface consists of methods. Methods are just functions. When you write a class, you define your method and provide an implementation of the method, your Java code. When you define an interface, you only provide definitions of methods or method signatures, but you do not provide an implementation of the methods. Your class may choose to implement a particular interface in which case your class will need to contain implementation of the methods with the same signature as defined in the interface. I will explain this in a little more detail later. Classes and interfaces are organized in packages. A package is just a unique name that you assign to a bunch of classes and interfaces that logically belong to the same category. Your package name should be unique across the entire world so it is usually a common practice to include your company name there. A package name has dots that delimit logical parts of the name. For example, com.mycompany.awareiam.plugins. A class or an interface must belong to some package, only one package. A class or an interface has its own name, for example, my function library. Therefore, each Java class or interface has a unique name that includes the name of the package where it belongs and the name of the class. For example, com.mycompany.awareiam.plugins.myfunctionlibrary. This is called a fully qualified name of the class or interface. When you finish writing code for your class or interface, you compile it using Java Compiler. The compiler creates a special file with a .class extension usually one per class or interface. You then add all your class files into a single archive file called a jar file. A jar file is a special archive with a .jar extension that contains your class files. You can actually have more than one jar file. It is up to you how you package your class files into the jar archives. When a jar file is ready, you need, to, you need to make it available for the Java environment. Once it is made available, the Java environment can execute your code. To make the jar file available for the Java environment, you need to put it on a class path of the Java environment. I will explain it a little later in more detail. Now back to the plugins. Your job as a plugin developer is to define a class that implements a particular interface. A where I am includes a number of such interfaces, and, we, and when you write a plugin, you need to define a class that implements one of these interfaces. So what you need to do at a high level is this. Write a code for the class that implements a particular interface. Compile this class into a .class file. Package this class file, maybe along with other plugins, in a jar archive. Make this jar archive available to Java environment. Use the plugin in the configuration of your where I am application. Now that we know the theory, we can finally start doing something. 
So here I have Eclipse installed and it points to the JDK that comes with the where I am. The first thing we do is create a new Java project in Eclipse. We only do it once for all our plugin development. So we select Java project here, give it a name, and we will accept the default settings here. Next we need to add the where I am code to the project so that Eclipse knows about the interfaces we need to implement and so that we can call the awareIAM functionality if necessary. AwareIAM is stored in jar files located in the AwareIAM Tomcat lib directory. For the plugin development we need two files openadapter.jar and awareIAM.jar. So to load these files into Eclipse we go to the project properties Select Java build path, it's already selected here, and then click on the Add External Jars button. Here I can see a where I am Tomcat lib directory already selected, so I select a where I am dot jar and open adapter dot jar. Again, we only need to do this once for all our plugin development. Next we need to define a package where our classes will belong. We will create one package for all the plugins. Again we, we only need to do it once. So we create a new package and we call it com my company the where I am dot plugins. So the preparation work is now done and now we need to define a plugin for our function that converts a string to uppercase. We will explain how to do this in the second part of the tutorial.